The Webb Space Telescope's new look at the cosmos, technology used to fine-tune Webb improves the vision of millions on Earth, and a new climate study heads to the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. It's a new window into the history of our universe. On July 11th, President Joe Biden released the first full-color image from our James Webb Space Telescope during a public event at the White House in Washington. The image, known as Webb's first deep field, reveals thousands of galaxies in a section of the sky so tiny that it is only about as big as a grain of sand that is held at arm's length by a person on the ground. The Webb Space Telescope's new look at the cosmos Technology used to fine-tune Webb improves the vision of millions on Earth. And a new climate study heads to the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. It's a new window into the history of our universe. On July 11th, President Joe Biden released the first full-color image from our James Webb Space Telescope. during a public event at the White House in Washington. The image, known as Webb's first deep field, reveals thousands of galaxies in a section of the sky so tiny that it is only about as big as a grain of sand that is held at arm's length by a person on the ground. The Webb Space Telescope's new look at the cosmos, technology used to fine-tune Webb improves the vision of millions on Earth, and a new climate study heads to the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. It's a new window into the history of our universe. On July 11th, President Joe Biden released the first full-color image from our James Webb Space Telescope during a public event at the White House in Washington. The image, known as Webb's first deep field, reveals thousands of galaxies in a section of the sky so tiny that it is only about as big as a grain of sand that is held at arm's length by a person on the ground.